My name is Olivia Costa. I'm 10 years old. I'm in fourth grade and I don't like celery, like at all. Today I'm making a seafood medley and it includes scallops, shrimp, and fish and tapioca, which is a French name for fish and paper. This is my rescue dog, Carly. He's not that well behaved and he inspired me to make these dog treats. Good treats for good intentions. I started cooking when I was about three. I actually have never taken any classes. I read a lot of cookbooks. I think I have like eight. Now that my veggies are cut, I'm gonna move on to my fishes, or fish if you wanna use proper grammar. My brother has a lot of food allergies, so I'll like set aside some chicken, I'll be able to just fry that for him. He can have stitzel and everybody else will have mozzarella chicken, and we'll basically all be eating like close to the same thing. In second grade, at the end of the school year, I got a blowtorch, so that is now my favorite. I'll sometimes blowtorch like marshmallows, just like for the fun of it. For Christmas, I just got a pair of food freezers. They're like this big, they're like huge. Just gonna dry them off. This really helps because they are basically frozen when we get them. And I'm not in the kitchen. I really love to draw, I love to paint. I also really love to sing. I'm not a stranger to the dark. I like to read sad books, which is kind of weird even though they make me really sad. I like to cook seasonal food. There was a chickpea salad recipe. I looked up the recipe and there was like a bunch of things that we didn't have. I think it was like, I don't actually remember. But I started with the chickpeas and then I added like totally different flavors. I also like to bake a lot. A couple weeks ago I was on like a really big cupcake kick. So I made s'mores cupcakes, I made lemon blueberry cupcakes, I made blueberry pancake cupcakes. When I grow up, I wanna have a restaurant that's like part bakery, part restaurant. The menu would be basically everything that I make now. Plating is definitely important to me because it might be delicious, but if it's just piled up, it doesn't look that good. This turned out really well, and as you can see, by combining a bunch of different elements and techniques, you can make a great dish. Click on the descriptions below to find more shows airing only on Universal Kids.